All right, let's get back and uh, to the show. Busy show, busy day. Of course, it is opening day for Road Also Downs Racetrack and Casino. Lots of big races already, and it's, it's, it's amazing how it all kicks off with uh, such uh, big races and such a uh, quality quarter horse racing. But it does, just like it ends out with the uh, big All-American Futurity at the very end. It starts off pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, and we're uh, glad to have it joining us. We've got uh, from Surebet Racing and uh, several other sources. We're going to let him talk a little bit about that. Mike Cusertelli is joining us on the phone, and Mike, uh, welcome to New Mexico in the morning. Thank you, Will. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, we're glad to have you now, Mike. For, for where, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Albuquerque. Wonderful. Uh, to give us a little bit of background on what Surebet Racing is and some of the other uh, entities that you uh, that you represent. Well, Surebet Racing News is a website that is updated every day um, at surebetracingnews.com. And um, we are this year, for the very first time, going to be uh, including some uh, handicapping information for the big races at Rudoso Downs, the three grade one futurities and the three grade one derbies and the Zia Festival, which is coming up on the last uh, Sunday in, uh, in July. And um, you can access all that information in depth at surebetracingnews.com. Uh, but you and I are going to be talking a little bit about this weekend's trials uh, uh, coming up shortly. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. Opening day at Rudoso Downs is always a big day. For those of us in the in the quarter horse racing industry, the, the quarter horse racing up there is uh, can't be beat anywhere, really. It's it's it, it really it's awesome, and this is the premier ra- racetrack for quarter horse racing, and of course with the uh, All American Futurity, the uh, Rodos of Futurity, which the Rodos of Futurity is what we're kind of talking about because it's the trials that we get kicked off with this weekend. Yes, and I understand the weather is pretty nice down there today. Yeah, actually, really nice, and uh, there's a possibility. Of uh, some some showers later, but uh, at the moment, uh, look pretty sunny, pretty nice, blue skies, looking pretty good. Yeah, we have some of the uh, superstars of uh, of the future racing today. Twenty five trials, uh, uh, the same number as as last year. Interesting thing about the Derby trials tomorrow. The Derby trials tomorrow. There's eight heat seventy four three year olds which is a big increase over uh, the 59 three-year-olds that raced in six trials last year. It's about 25%. So I think that's a real good indication of how strong the quarter horse racing industry is here in New Mexico, um, but also more specifically at Rudoso Downs. 25% more uh, is, is, a big, is a big increase. It is a huge increase, and of course, with what we're doing uh, with the, the Rudos Maturity Trials, and you've got the, the, the trials for the first leg of Quarter Horses Triple Crown, so it's uh, definitely a big deal and way to kick things off, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. 25 trials. Uh, I guess we'll be going until about 7 o'clock today, t- tonight, so it'll be a, a long day, but it'll give your listeners a, a lot of time to, to get on out to the track if they have, if they have the opportunity. Very definitely. So we yeah. give them an opportunity to get out there, make some wagers, and uh, hopefully with the, what we're going to talk about right now, we can give them a couple of good picks and uh, some uh, some money in the bank. That's what, that's what we're all shooting for, right? Oh, absolutely. The beautiful thing about horse racing is it, I always have called it the world's very first interactive sport. It was interactive even before that term uh, was coined a few years ago. It's uh, um, th- there's always an opportunity, and and there's always a, uh, you know, th- there's always a, another race coming up. So I look forward to talking about it. Very definitely. Well, and like you said, 25 trials. That's th- th- that's a few quarter horses. Now, granted, luckily with uh, quarter horses, they're they're all run pretty quick because they're 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 the sprint races of uh, of, co- of horse racing. Yes, absolutely. The Usain Bolt. Uh, a, a good analogy is, uh, you know, in the Olympics, you have the sprinters, you know, you have the Usain Bolt, and then you have the, the, the distance runners, and, and we're the sprinters. Very definitely are the sprinters, and uh, 25 of those sprints going on today at Rodos Downs Racetrack. We're getting going here uh, momentarily, and uh, it's going to be a big day, so looking forward to that. And uh, well, let's talk about some of, the, uh, some of the races, and we can uh, maybe give some folks – some winners. Any 
just before we get going on on some of these uh, individually with twenty five, is there are there any individually that uh, of the of the races that really stand out as some super 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 competitive? Uh, obviously, these are all two year olds; they're all pr- untested, right? Well, a lot of them are untested. Uh, there were there were quite a few that, that in the trials today that raced at Sunland Park and Remington. Uh, park out in Oklahoma City, which is another very good quarter horse meet. I think Remington and Rio Doso are the, really the two best in the country as far as quarter horse racing goes. Um, but but there are some that, that do have some solid form, and one in particular in the 15th heat today is W.R. Golden Eagle. Uh, I think that she might be the best bet of the day. She earned a 97 uh, Trackmaster speed rating when she won the West Texas Futurity, which is a grade one race um, back in April. Um, I think she might be the best bet of the day. Uh, the horse that was a close second in that race, Anna D. Lovely, uh, is the number five horse in the 24th heat. And um, even though she is a maiden, she's uh, 0 for 2, she, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, might be a, the best bet in the 24th heat. Um, speaking of Remington Park, another race to look at, I think, is the 17th heat, number 3, Valley Fire, um, broke his maiden at Remington uh, back in April and also won a, a training race under a hand ride um, Back in March, and that was that happened to be the third fastest winning time from 12 races that day. So I think Valley Fire uh, in the 17th heat is definitely one to look at. Uh, uh, but like you said, there are a lot of there is at this stage of a of a of the season in late May. Uh, there are a lot of horses that just don't have a lot of form, a lot of previous form. And, uh, you know, those are the ones that, uh, that, that are the mystery. But I would recommend to people when, they, when they're out at the racetrack today that they, that they look at the post parade, they look in the paddock and see how these horses are, are acting. Um, and, if they, and if they look like they're in, uh, you know, they, that, that, they, that they feel good and, and look, uh, look sharp and, and well-muscled, you know, that's another factor to look at, too. Well, we're going to be talking about the, this morning. Uh, you and I are just basically what what they look like on paper, but um, what they look like on the track is pretty important too. It is indeed, and you know, obviously, the training that goes into them. Looking at trainers, if you if you have if you, if you follow horse racing at all, and you're and you're uh, familiar with trainers and successful ones, you know that plays into it. Uh, there, there's a lot of different things when we're talking about handicapping that uh, really plays into, especially when you're talking about quarter horse racing. Because it is such a, such a sprint race, and so much can happen in such a fast time, and uh, you know one stumble and you're out of it, and uh, you know one misstep or you know the, you know one 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 uh, gate bang too many, you know there's there's all kinds of things that can affect a horse, and uh, the, the smoother runs they have, the better they've been trained, the uh, the better the jockey handles them, and the, you know jockeys have have a factor too. All of these different things. Uh, way into uh you know how and that's why you know you have the long shots that's why you have these ho- horses that that no one expected to win come out and uh, and pay big money sometimes absolutely long shots uh, are not uncommon at all it, it try in two-year-old trials especially this time of year and and i really think that uh you know the i, I looked at all 25 heats in depth um in my in my uh, piece that's, uh, that can be accessed at SureBet Racing News. And, um, and hopefully in there, uh, um, you know, uh, in that analysis, there, I maybe, maybe might be able to give the, uh, the fans some, some long shots that they, can, that they can look at and make some money with. Very nice. Well, looking at uh, what, what you've got there at SureBetRacingNews.com, there's, there's some, some great analysis, some great uh, insight into several of these horses. And uh, you mentioned a couple of them for us uh, real quickly, WR Golden Eagle and, uh, of course, uh, so, so Anna Lovely and some of the horses that you, that you really like. But, uh, you know, the, it, it's just you know, it's some of these races, like we're talking about with some of these unproven horses, it's anybody's bet. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and the one thing, too, that, uh, that I think really helped is that this year Rudoso Downs had some training races 
um, from May 6th to May 8th, they had three days of training races. And training races are actually a much better gauge, I think, than workouts when analyzing the chances of a, of a young two-year-old this time of year because they give us a, a, a chance to see what these young horses can do under actual racing conditions. So that's another thing I think to, uh, that, that people can look at is take a look at those training races because that, that I think really gives, uh, gives us a, a better chance uh, or a better look, better than workouts, uh, just simple workouts, of, of what horses can do, young horses can do in racing conditions. So that, that helps a lot. Pretty much any horse can, can run down the track. So, I mean, but, but running down a track with a field of other horses that are, you know, uh, of equal or, or, you know, better quality and uh, see, you know, with, with, with riders on their backs and the, and the noise of the crowd in front of the, you know, there at the grandstand, there's a, there's a lot of other factors there as well that uh, can, can affect especially these super young horses. Yes. Now, when we look at the at the Derby trials tomorrow, we have a lot more form to go on. Very definitely. And uh, and uh, it, it's a it's a little bit easier. But on the other hand, you know, easy easy sometimes to a handicapper to a long time handicapper like me. Um, a day like today is a lot more challenging uh, than a day like tomorrow because uh, you know because of all those unknown factors that go into two year old racing. Absolutely. Well, and like you mentioned, with tomorrow we've got the Derby Trials and a lot of uh, big names from last year making their uh, return. Absolutely, and one of them is PJ Chicken Black. You mentioned her uh, earlier um, earlier on the show. Uh, she's won seven out of her eight. The only loss, uh, her only loss came in the All-American Final. But I don't know if you got a chance to see her trial last year that she won by almost six lengths. It was but crazy. That was one of the most... That, yeah, that was one of the most per- impressive performances I've, I've ever seen. You don't have multiple length wins in quarter horse racing generally, and definitely not six length r- wins. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's huge when you're talking about a, a, a distance of just uh, a quarter of a mile, 440 yards. Uh, the, the nice thing about her is, uh, you know, she was the champion, AQHA champion two year old Philly last year. Um, but she's uh, come on and, and raced very, very strongly this year. She won the West Texas Derby at uh, Sunland, uh, which is a big race, uh, graded stakes, and she looks like she is just as sharp, if not more so, than she was last year. And she's going to be racing in the second trial, which is the sixth race uh, on Saturday. Right. The, the uh, Derby trials start uh, race five on Saturday and uh, go through, uh, what, uh, race 12? Yes, there's a total of eight trials altogether. So, again, today we've got the Rudos of Futurity, the first leg of Quarter Horses Triple Crown. These are the uh, Rudos of Futurity trials, 25 of them tomorrow, the Rudos of Derby trials for three-year-olds, and uh, some big quarter horse racing right out of the gate as we get rolling at Rudos Downs Racetrack and Casino. Now, as we're talking about the Derby tomorrow, real quick before we get you out of here, Mike, what uh, is there anything that uh, any of these uh, three-year-olds that uh, maybe we might that might surprise us. Anything that uh, we're, we're looking at that uh, might uh, make betters, uh, you know, sit up and pay attention. Well, there's a couple. Of, there's a few other horses I really like tomorrow uh, in, the, in the first trial, which is the fifth race. Um, we have Wicked Courage, who has won five in a row, including a stakes at uh, at Remington Park, a graded stakes. In the seventh race, which is the third trial, we have Carter's Cookie, who's been working very nicely. Uh, you know, he won the the Rainbow Futurity at this 400-yard distance last year, so he likes the track, and, and he brings some back class in. And then in the uh, eighth trial, which is the 12th race, uh, Charvet, the nine horse, uh, has been very, very consistent in all six of his races, and he's dropping in class tomorrow off of a third-place finish in a stakes race at Remington back in March. So there are, are just as many betting, uh, nice betting opportunities tomorrow as there are today. And, um, you know, both days, the first two days of the Rudo, so down to meet, uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, you're, you're just not, as a, as a quarter horse racing fan as a, and, and as a handicapper, you're just not going to find anything better than this. Very definitely, and looking forward to it. And, again, you can head over to Rudo Sedown's Racetrack Casino. We're going to be over there broadcasting live 
here just after the show. So come on over and see us and uh, make sure that uh, you get out and enjoy the weekend at Rodosa Downs as we kick things off for the 2013 meet. Opening day, Rodosa Downs Racetrack and Casino 25 uh, quarter horse trials. And uh, again, uh, going 400 yards, it's going to be a, a, a big deal. 440 for the, uh, for the Futurity 400 for the uh, Derby. Is that right? Um, the Derby tri- uh, the Futurity Trials today are 350. 350, sorry. The Derby, yeah, and the Derby Trials tomorrow are 400. 400, 350 and 400. There we go. All yeah. right. Well, Mike, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Mike and uh, Custelli joining us uh, again, surebetracingnews.com. And, Mike, you've got a couple other places people can check you out online too, right? Yes, I have a blog called Handicapping the Speed Horse. That's at www.stallionesearch.com. Uh, this weekend, we're taking a look at a handicapping look at two futurities at Delta Downs in Louisiana uh, that are going to be run tonight and tomorrow. And also on Mondays and Tuesdays, we update uh, quarter horse racing news on that blog, and that's at www.stallionesearch.com. Also, if people want to find out more about New Mexico bred thoroughbreds and quarter horses, they can check out the New Mexico Horse Breeders Association website which is at www.nmhorsebreeders.com. Excellent. Mike Cusatelli, thank you very much. We appreciate your time this morning, and thanks for some insight and hopefully some winners so people can can, uh, take to the ticket window. Thanks, Will. I look forward to doing this again right before the finals, and good luck to everybody today. Thank you very much, Mike. We appreciate it. Thanks, Will. Uh, Thank you. Mike Cusatelli, surebetracingnews.com. Check it out, and uh, you can get some more in-depth information on some of these. Also, I know we've got uh, some of these uh, different races featured in the Rudos of Free Press as well, and it's going to be a, uh, a big deal coming up this weekend with opening weekend at Rudos Downs Racetrack and Casino, and we are going to head over there right after the show. But we've got more guests coming up for Memorial Day weekend. Stick around to New Mexico in the morning on AM 1490, News Talk Tourism, KRUI, and Real Country, W105.